Okay, uh, this is me again, making a part two to the old school thing. Uh, second thing I wanted to say about that whole old school relationship thing. Say, for example, like the man kept cheating on his wife and she found out and she questioned, I'm like, Babe, I gotta ask you something. What? What you wanna ask me? What? I noticed you've been, you know, taking long hours at work and you've been coming home at, at like at odd hours, like 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 in the morning, odd hours, midnight to early morning. Why? Why do it matter? Because I want you home so you can be with your children and your wife. <laughs> you questioning me about where I've been? Really? I take care of you and them, them kids. I work hard as hell to keep roof over all y'all heads. I feed y'all. I clothe y'all. You gonna question me about where I've been? And then she's like, you know what? I'm getting so tired. Of this. If you don't stop, I'm leaving. Him. Where you gonna go? I don't, don't nobody want you. Don't nobody care about you. I take care of you. <laughs> Who you think you are? And they say, well, I'm going to tell somebody who going to believe you. You say anything, I promise you, you ain't going to get nothing that you want from me. And them heels, them nice dresses, this nice lifestyle you want, all the expensive stuff you want, you say anything, I ain't getting you shit. And them kids can go with it, because I don't want them any damn way. I don't want none of y'all. So uh, you talk, you get out my damn house, and so is them kids. So, yeah, and he's like, and you better act like you happy with this lifestyle unless you want me to move to somebody else's house and give it to them, because there's a lot of women I want to work in man. And she's like, I can't believe you. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your wife. You're supposed to love me. I ain't supposed to love a damn thing. I got with your ass. Now, I didn't say I love you. I didn't say I cared. I got with you. And well, well, why did you get with me if you don't care about me? Because you look good. That's why I got with you. Any other questions? Are you cheating on me? And so what if I am? What you gonna do about it? Now shut up, make my food, and go upstairs because I don't want to hear you. Matter of fact, I don't even want to see you. I don't even want to see them kids. Ain't you supposed to be taking care of them anyway? How about you do this? Get out of my face. And be useful for once. Since you don't work, do something with yourself. That's usually how women got talked to back in the day. And she runs upstairs crying like, I don't care about you crying. All that crying don't mean nothing to me anyway. You go cry to somebody else. I don't care, whatever. Then, you know, if there was a Christian family, it was worse because all the same stuff was happening. But then you had to maintain an image like, Everything was cool. Meanwhile, the husband's acting like a jerk, doing all that cheating, lying, abusive stuff, or going to church. You had to carry a certain image like everything was cool. Meanwhile, you're showing up to with marks on you and marks on your kids and people asking you what's going on. But because you know you can't get out the situation, you just lie and say everything is fine. Well, reality-wise, it ain't. And if the man's like, if you ever tell anybody what I'm doing to you, it'll get worse and worse and worse, and I'll probably just kill you. So, you can talk if you want to. you regret it. That's how it was back then. But then it got to the point where women could actually leave or walk away. And a lot of the time, if a woman was strong enough, she would walk away, risking her home, risking her... You know, her livelihood, but to be with a guy who treated her like dogs all the time, some of them women were strong enough to just walk away and say, whatever, I'll make it on my own. And he's like, ha, good luck, you ain't gonna get nothing without me. It was much harder for women because a lot of guys were very sexist and wouldn't hire women, so it was harder for them. Not impossible, just harder. That's why I said when the feminist movement came around, you know, that's what happened. Plus, you know, bosses would hire women, but because they knew they could fire them at any given time, they would hold that over their head, and then they would try to sexually harass women and tell them, if you don't do A, B, C, or D, I'm firing you. So do it if you want this job. If you don't want this job, <laughs> there's the door. I don't need you anyway. So there were some women who did it, and some that were strong enough not to. That's how it was.
But like I said, everything has a point where it will turn into a turn for someone's advantage as long as you try to do what's right. Sad part is the woman will try to go home and tell her man about the uh, boss harassing her, but he's so busy out there doing no good that he's like, nah, I don't believe you. He ain't doing all that because the boss was harassing his wife while harassing another one. And while the boss was married, husband doing a lot of dirty, scandalous crap. Wow, the wife's getting abused, so he ain't believed the wife because he was doing the same thing the wife's boss was doing, so he ain't really care anyway. So, yeah. But, yeah. But like I said, then you had to go to church, put on a good image, put on a good face, act like everything was cool, but then you go back home, everything's a total mess. But then there was the church scandals with the pastors having sex with the women and Everything was just a, a, an entire mess back then. So all these churches talking about homosexuality is a sin. A lot of y'all out here shacking up with other men's wives trying to use the Bible as a way to do it, which is a way bigger sin. So, whatever, bro. But anyway, that was the end of that. So, yeah. Bye-bye.